Hello everyone! The James Webb Telescope's photos have reveal fascinating details about the universe. One of these images provides the earliest view of the universe. 13.1 billion years ago is visible to us. In another case, we identified an alien exoplanet with water, or H2O. Welcome to Mysterious Curiosity. Today, we're presenting you the strangest planets ever discovered in space. If you were to construct a comprehensive list of all the possible components for planets, you would finally divide them into two groups, solid planets and gas planets. And the majority of the solid planets would be built on a fundamental rock-type component, correct? That does not apply to 55 Cancri E, because this planet is primarily made of diamond. Yes, diamonds. But only on a far larger scale than the diamonds found on Earth. The planet was originally a star in a binary system, which is a system with two stars. Eventually, its partner star tried to eat the planet. The issue was that the star contained carbon, making it impossible for it to. For those who don't know, carbon and other elements, which this star had, are used to produce diamonds under conditions of intense pressure and time. As a result, it turned into a diamond planet when the absorption attempt failed, which put a lot of tension and strain on the star. However, the Earth is not entirely made of diamonds. In actuality, diamond makes up around one-third of it, with the other components. 55 Cancri E is eight times as massive as our planet, which may help you understand why this is important. The total value of the diamonds is $26.9 trillion. Before you ask, the answer is that yes, that is far more than the value of our planet and that obtaining even a small portion of this quantity of diamonds would make you extremely wealthy. There are many strange things in the galaxy, but I believe it is safe to state that HD 189733b is one of the strangest planets ever discovered, mostly because this planet has glass raining down on it, sideways. No, this is not a trick or a scene from a science fiction film or television program. It actually does this, and is a real planet. I'll describe how. The atmosphere, which contains a high concentration of silica, a substance that is widely distributed on Earth, is where the glass itself is found. As the rains fall on the planet, silica that is accumulated there causes it to harden, much like condensation from water to ice at times on Earth, and turn into glass. So yes, it is true that glass may rain down from the sky. Regarding the second component, HD 189733b's winds are significantly superior than those of Earth and many other planets around the universe. They may travel at speeds of up to 5,400 miles per hour since they are so strong. The power of the wind at such high speeds causes the glass rain to fall sideways rather than straight down. So what you get in return is a planet that is beyond logic, but can still be understood by science and a world that mankind will most certainly never wish to visit for obvious reasons. There is a star named Gliese out there in the galaxy right now, and several planets, including one known as Gliese 436b, orbit it. But when it was discovered, we on Earth gave it a not-so-nice moniker. It's dubbed the Burning Ice Cube, as you can see. Furthermore, the moniker is supposed to be taken literally. The planet is made entirely of ice from the surface down, like a huge ice cube. So it is undoubtedly an ice planet. It taken alone isn't really strange, until you learn that the planet's surface temperature is a searing 439 degrees Celsius, which is 822 degrees Fahrenheit if you're asking for a converter. Our Earth would be scorched by such temperature and quickly become dead. You're probably wondering how an ice planet could have scorching heat without melting, right? This is related to the planet itself, or more specifically, to the components of the planet. That is, the ice. Gliese 436b has so much water as a result of the ice that the extremely high temperatures have less of an impact on the ice than one might anticipate. This is combined with the planet's extremely powerful gravity which compacts the water molecules to the point that they cannot burn and cannot evaporate. As a consequence, you have a planet that is neither cold enough to burn its surface nor hot enough for life. That is a direct clash of opposites. Thanks for watching Mysterious Curiosity. Do you think it's possible that these planets may exist in space? 
Which one do you consider to be the strangest? Would you ever wish to have a close-up look at one of these planets? Do you know of any more alien planets that have been found in the universe? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll speak with you again soon on the channel.